Relief. Rehab. Revive. Antang Fuang Hospital, Year 2100. A rehab wing for a hyper healthy society. The design of the wards allows the patients to have access to external elements beyond the confinement of their wards. This design is enabled by paying sensitivity to their view angle and the area their visual range can cover. Entrances angled at 45 degrees, the patients who want to venture out can have more visual alertness to their surrounding as fast-moving beds and equipment often cause patients to coop in their wards. Rounded wall edges with curved, handrails, and the extended floor finish serves to provide patients with familiarity and comfort to aid the patient in breaking out of their comfort zone. The design of sporadic spaces breaks away from a defined institutionalized language to allow patients to roam freely. This increases chance encounters with the equipment they have to work with in their next stage. Patients can look at those who progress up their physical rehab serves as motivation for patients who have yet to let go of their causation. Watching others break out from their comfort zone, can further instate the ever-changing roles of the voyeur-voy relationship. The patients are exposed to leg training such as balancing pads, steps and terrain training. They are also exposed to different floor textures ranging from smooth to coarse, which will allow them to move towards their next stage. Patients get to enjoy a wider variety of physical rehabilitation options. Their choices range from indoors, outdoors, level 4 to level 3. These include formal and informal rehabilitation venues each with equipment that are designed into public furniture to help and aid them move up their recovery stage. In the rehab pod, where most of the equipment is located, they are also given the opportunity to peer down into the atrium, seeing patients who are undergoing community integration further extending their exposure to distractions. The rehab ramp is lined with stations that reward them for their physical progression, evolving from slopes, stairs and social interaction with other patients. Patients get to rest at set intervals after cross their many thresholds. Here, they can do pulling, ankle and strength training that is built into the floor and columns. The patients are slowly introduced to activities and programs that will help them transit back into the community. Activities such as art, music, Dance and yoga class make use of what they have learned during their training. The successful application of these skills allows them to feel motivated to push on towards the final lap of their treatment. Cognitive training such as eye-hand, eye-leg movement are integrated into activities such as dancing, yoga etc. The spaces also allow them to transit from a more individual focused setting to a public environment, a stage that is enveloped by the atrium allow onlookers from above to see them as motivation, further enforcing the idea of peer motivation and positive distractions. Finally, they can use what they have learned and integrate back into the public, gaining access to dense traffic areas such as the food court and the grand atrium, where public activities take place. Now. They can partake public activities without having fears or stigma of being different, thus reaching the end of their physical and emotional recovery. Looking back up, they are greeted with the atrium that encapsulates their recovery journey. They see that those who looked down for motivation, those who are in a situation where they were once in. Except for this time, they will return and spend their last few days in rehab to provide motivation to their peers. Thus. Wrapping up their journey in a patient-centric, peer-motivated recovery program.